Welcome everybody to Webster Timber Lanes. Paul Newman here. We have a doubles uh, match here today. We have in the A South A Division. We have the home bowler Tim Douglas facing Glenn Gill, and in the D Division we have the home bowler Brittany Underwood facing Matt Taylor. We're going to get right to the bowling. We're under a time constraint here, so first bowler will step to the line. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> And, all right, so we've got Glenn Gill starting on alley 17 and Matt Taylor beginning on 18. <coughs> Matt's on the head pin, he begins with a strike. Glenn on the head pin also leaves the five pin. Picks it up for the spare. So good start for both bowls. Glenn is uh, averaging 111 in, in the uh, A flight uh, with a record of 48 and 134. Last in his division, Matt Taylor has a record of takes out four. He has a record of 101 and 67. He's leading his division. He's the third seed in D South with an average of 99. Glenn took out three in his spear. And he makes it. He starts off with two spears in a row. And Matt picks up his 10, so Matt's at 28. Through two. And Glenn is at 23 in the ball. Half Worcester right. Then leaves the four horsemen right with the eight pin, a little bit of wood. That bounces it down there, chops off the head pin. And just misses the head pin and leaves the one seven. That finishes the box with a seven. And Glenn finishes with an eight. Glenn's at 36 through three. Matt is at 35. Matt goes wide of the head pin right. Glenn's just off the head pin. Wood comes back, covers that head pin nicely for him. Let's see what happens with this shot. Yeah. And that goes through the hole for a seven box. That's two in a row for him. He's at 42. Glenn goes through the hole for a six box. He's also at 42. Third seven barks in a row for Matt. He's at 49. And then has an eight for a 50. Started off good. And he leaves the one, eight, nine, wood in front, wood behind. He chops off the six pin. And he just grazes the wood out front. And Brittany starts with the seven marks. 
Brittany's uh, record is 124 and 58. She's second in her division in the uh, South Division, South Conference. And we're going to check that wood as we're waiting on that. While we're waiting, I'll continue talking here. Um, Brittany's second in her division in the uh, South Conference, um, uh, trailing Jerry Amaral. Uh, but she's first in the wild card hunt, so she's safely in the postseason, you would seem. She averages 103. She pulls out of Timberlands. And Rick Nichols clears the wood for us. Tim starts with an eight. Tim Douglas' record is uh, uh, 99 and 69. He's tied for first in his division in terms of games behind. He's uh, battling it out with Billy Shiner. Uh, by winning percentage, Tim's in first with a 589 winning percentage to, t to Billy's 571. Brittany fell. I hope she's all right. She did not foul. That's the bright side of it. Timmy's off the head pin again. I think Brittany landed on her knee. <laughs> and she, oh, she made it. Yeah. And then Timmy just couldn't get the wood to, to work for him like Brittany did. He's got this for a 10. Skip log, 10 is good. He's through 18 through 2. Brittany's at 17 and the ball through 2. Good hit pin. Water, I mean, excuse me, a pocket hit for Tim, but he leaves the. Five eight nine. He's gonna play this outside the five pin. This is Brittany goes by the head pin for a nine, so she's gonna be at uh, thirty two through three. Timmy goes in the hole even twenty six through three. Timmy's off for a slow start. Block is completed. Timmy's down 10. Brittany's down 3. <laughs> catches the pocket there. Leaves the same leave Timmy had the 589, but she's got some wood there. Timmy buries the pocket, the 1 2 pocket, but he's. He leaves the six and the eight. Oh, wood wasn't helpful to Brittany there. And Timmy just squeezes it between the dead wood and the six bit. Eight box of brick. Timmy bludgeons it. Uh, uh, 36 through four. And Brittany's at 40 through four. Out there finishes with a nine, so three five boxes completed. Brittany is down one pin to Matt Taylor, 49 to 48. Tim Douglas is down five pins to Glenn Gill, 50 to 45. Low start for all four balls. One is full in the head pin, almost leaves the spread eagle, but he got the six to fall. Matt 
just misses the head pin. A spear attempt. Glenn finishes with an eight box. And Matt has a seven. He leaves a triangle on the right side. Matt throws a strike. Glenn misses his object. So that was 10. And a nine box for Glenn Gill with 67 through 7. Matt Taylor's at 66 and two balls working on this strike through seven. Matt drops seven. With his first ball leaving the head pin. This is his object. Skip line by Ben Gill almost worked. Leaving the four pin. Nine fill for Matt on his strike. Ben has a 10 for 77. Matt's at 84 through 8. <clears throat> Head pin. He wanted the seven pin to fall. No luck there. And that's on the head pin. He leaves a split. He's got about five, eight, ten. Plenty of wood. And that goes wide left. Glenn had a good effort there on his spare. Couldn't get the seven to go. Has a nine for 93. Glenn's at 86. For nine. Both these bowlers that we're watching right now bowled matches yesterday. And uh, Glenn took 12 pins from Mike Nardone and Lewis. Matt lost 12 points to Joe Vieira. Both matches took place at Lewis. Ryan's and Lewis. And Glenn picks up the five pin for his spare. Matt chops out for two pin on his spear attack. So Matt's gonna finish. With a 101 string, it's eight for Matt. Glenn gets the extra pin, he gets five on his strike, so he finishes with a 101 as well. Tim Douglas is going to start his second half. He's at uh, 45 through 5. I need a 57 half to win the screen. Brittany has recovered from her injuries. She throws a strike. Timmy misses everything wide right. And he steals his head pin, so he gets a nine box out of that. Time to hit the head pin, folks. Pretty hit it, she got a strike. So he catches the head pin, he leaves a triangle right. Oh, there goes the five pin. And there goes the three pin. He's got a single pin with wood. He just has to be careful of the cap on that one on the left. Went right by it. Brittany, oh, good bit for the spare. Put a nine. That's a nine fill on his strike. He threw a mark in the seventh. He's a 64 plus a ball. 
Brittany threw seven is at 77. And Brittany needs 24 pins to tie in 25 to win. Strike on spare activity. It's only a matter of time. He tins it 84 plus two balls in the, uh, in the eight bars. He just goes wide in the head pin. He picks up the 10. She's at 87. I said that she needed 25 in two boxes. I was, I misspoke. She needed it in three boxes. So she's in, she's in pretty good, pretty good shape for this one right now. Timmy's so very full in the head. And Brittany gets some quarter hit action there. Just misses the head pin, takes everything, but... So that's a four fill for Timmy Strike and a four box. Timmy's at 92, he needs a 10 to win. The string, nine to tie. Brittany's at 97. She's chasing a 101. Six, so she's going to win string number one. Timmy just goes wide of the head pin twice, so he needs all four to win the string, three to tie. And he got the tie. So we have a tie in the eighth division, A conference, 101 to 101. Brittany's at 107 at a ball. She's beating them all. Everybody bowled a 101 except for you. That's hilarious. Oh, that's right. Three 101s. Four fill for 111. Yeah. Charlie and Ezzy tied with a 102 yesterday. On the head pin, nine drop, 116 for Brittany. From Brittany Underwood. Leads all bowlers with her 116. She's 15 pins up on that. Whereas Glenn and Timmy are tied. And the ACST was a 14 point match. There's four points for total pin fall. Two points each for every string. So Brittany takes two. And Glenn and Timmy split the two. They get one each. Matt Taylor misses the head pin and he goes wide right. He's a four horseman. Glenn Gill buries his ball. So it was a strike. Back for Glenn. And that has his first 10. And it'll start off with a 9. Pin and he's got a bit of a break there. Glenn's first ball on the strike and he did the same. And they're still following. All right, he got a little break to get the head pin. He's got a three and one split with wood that could help him. Plays it outside and he makes it. And he starts spare on strike. Got that pin to jump over and take down the 10, whereas Matt starts off with a Another nine. He's 18 through two. Glenn's at 30 in a ball uh, through two. Matt hung on to that a little bit. He checks out the seventh pin. Glenn's fill in the pocket. And he. Okay, nine pins. Struggling here. 
This wood's a little tricky. It's not it's not frozen with that. No problem for Glenn though. Starts off at three in a row. He's at 49 plus a ball in the third. He's on his way to pretty good string. Seven bucks for Matt. He's at 25 through three. Lobs it down the alley and he takes out the half Worcester right. And Matt misses everything, still leaves the same five pin cluster. Glenn right. goes wide right to grab it out. He's got the 1710 with wood. Finishes with a six box. Glenn with an 8, Glenn's 59 through 4, Matt's at 31 through 4. Off the head pin, he gets a quarter hit, as does Glenn. He's still falling. Glenn leaves the uh, head pins as object. Just misses the head pin. Matt's got this for his 10. And he picks it up. So he finishes with a 41 half. Glenn finishes with a 68 half. Good start anyway. I don't know about the half. I'm gonna punch right here. Yeah. Yep. Brittany just misses the head pin, almost got some backdoor action on the two, but she's got the one-two for her spin. And he's light on the head pin, and he leaves the uh, three-ten. No wood. Uh, Brittany wants that one back. Yes, sir, all day. To me, made that look easy. And Brittany starts off with a nine. Just grazes the head pin and leaves it. Three pins, three pins on the right. All right. I don't know, I don't think Timmy could do that, but he left the five pin with the back row. It's a five fill. And Brittany picks up her spare, played it outside. And they just explode for Tim. The two marks in a row. He's a 25 Same and a ball for two. And he gets a six fill. Do it. Oh, it stood up. Nine drop for Tim. Thought that six was gonna go. Brittany really makes her spare. Good 35 and ball, 2 3. Oh! Oh! I've done that twice myself. Right in that. I never did. This is it again. So Timmy is at 43 through 3. It's now 8 through completed boxes in the string. He's at 35 in the ball. She's up to 10 plus this box. Two fill for Brittany to get the uh, half right. to right. A lot of skip lobs here today. Timmy leaves the diamond left. He's on the head. Good, good bid there. Good out. And the 5 10 for no 10. So Timmy makes his spare. Brittany will be happy with the 9. That's what she got. 
so she's now at 46. So she's at 15 in the string, 30 in her match. Timmy and Glenn tied the first string. They're just joining us. This match is being recorded. It's not live. Great first ball by Brittany leaving the 5-9. She's off the hip and hits the 3. Means a cluster of, is that five or four? I can't tell. There's a four. Okay. Oh, the, wood, the wood was an issue for her. She caught the pin in the cap simultaneously, leaving the nine. All over it. Timmy leaves the seven pin. That was a, buried that ball, but. All right, 55 for Brittany through five. 10 for. So, Timmy's at 67, He's down a pin in the, in the uh, string and in the match. Brittany's at 55, through five, she's up 14 in the string and 29 in the match. When he goes wide of the head pin, gets a nice quarter pin leave. Quarter pin hit, excuse me, one, three, nine. Got some wood out front that he's going to want to go by and catch that head pin in the pocket. A little bit too far wide. Matt misses his object on his spare attempt. And Glenn will start off the second half with a nine. Matt with a seven. So Matt's a 48 through six. Glenn is at 77 through six. Full in the head pin, he gets a good splash in, he leaves the 3-6. Uh, Matt goes wide left of the head pin, he leaves with the 1-3-5-9. A little bit of wood, not sure what I have to say. Glenn picks that two-pinner up for his spear. Matt's on and he makes his. Both bowlers have spears. And now he's got some privacy. Oh, in the pocket hit. He left the 5-7. Yeah, Matt fills his spear with a 2. Air Force to left. It's an 8 fill for Glenn. Timmy will get to it. Half was to right for Glenn. For, excuse me, for Matt. And Matt continues to struggle. Eight for Glenn. That is a good out for Matt. It's a seven box. So Glenn's at 103 through eight. Matt's at 67 through eight. Oh my goodness. The one. Eight, nine. Timmy had that one, eight, nine for a spear lead, but he had wood. That's what Glenn took out with his first ball. Great bid. My signature shot. Left the three. That also punched on his first ball. He left three and one. He's with that for his ten. That's a great ten for Great ten for, for Glenn. He's at 113. Matty misses there. 75 through nine. Well, it's a three pin pretty full. He got a pretty decent drop from that. So he needs the one, two, ten with plenty of wood. That's the head pin. It should go. And he gets it to go. Matt misses it. Almost got a little bit of help, but he's got this for his ten. So Matt finishes with a nine for his 84. Long. 
Timmy drops, I'm sorry, Glenn drops five. 128 string, good string for Glenn. Twenty-nine through two strings completed. To the over out of one hundred one to start. So a one twenty-eight to catch to, uh, Glenn. But he threw a great first ball. Leaves the five nine. He misses his object. Brittany misses her object. <laughs> To be a 10, Brittany takes a 9, so Brittany's a 64. Through 6. She needs an 85 to, to win this game. She's going to win the second string as well. left with the 8 pin. Woods trying to creep back into the picture. It's going to freeze up against the, uh, the 1, th 2. No, nope, it's rolling away. Yeah. This is the head pin. Big check, Timmy. So 9 for 2, he's at 86. He's going to need a couple marks here. He needs to get 42 to, to tie him in three boxes. I got 20 right away. Brittany's at 72 through 7. There you go, buddy, all together. Again, he misses the head. There's a four horseman right. Nice ball, 7 out of there. It's a split from Brittany. And here comes some wood that might give her an option. And Timmy cleans up the four horsemen, right? Great bid by Brittany. Nine bucks for Britt, 81 through eight. Timmy's at 96 in the ball. Through eight, he needs to get to 128. Tied the string. Okay, this is the head pin. Almost left the four horsemen, but the three pin fell, so. Get some helpful wood. I missed the seven, the uh, ten head pin. Oh, my and God! Shot by Brett. Left the seven tail. And Timmy stole the 10 pin there. Brittany has a 9. So Timmy's at 113. Brittany's a mark in the 10th. Brittany's won her string. scores for you in a moment. First ball, he's going to be a uh, six, seven, 
four seven for his spear, sorry. He picks it up. There you go. Start from that. Ten for Glenn. Tim Douglas is a 221 through two, two uh, Glenn Gill's a 229. Glenn's leading the match by eight. He's accumulated three points to Timmy's one. Matt Taylor misses the head pin on his spare fill, but he uh, got some, some action, backdoor action there, and it's uh, seven fill. Picks up the spare. Matt Taylor showing signs of life. Two, two marks in a row to start the second string. Glenn just missed his trying a bid for a spear. And Brittany Underwood's up four points to nothing so far. Matt wants to climb back into the match. Brittany's up 30 pins in the match. Light hit pin hit from Matt. He drops six and they're spread out, but he's got some help for Wood. And I, this shot goes. All he has to do is hit the, the object yeah. pin and the Wood simultaneously. He just missed the object pin. He got it to fall, but it did not carry the five pin. And Glenn had a, an ugly split there and he used the Wood nicely, but he left the eight pin. Okay, Matt has a 10, so he's at 43 through three. And Glenn starts with a nine. So he's at 29 through three. Laid in the head pin, and he wanted that seven pin to fall. He did not. A great bid by Matt there. Got it to touch the seven, but not hard enough. Then again off the head pin. Again, Matt takes it. Picks up the seven. Glenn has a nine mark, so Glenn's at 38 through four. Matt's at 53 through four. Ball there for Glenn. This is the head pin, but he leaves that. Um, I think he's going to probably try to play the head pin outside. We'll see. Do it! Right at it. The wood was pretty well covered. Everything. So. 48 in the ball as he sits down. Matt Taylor's at 62 as he takes his seat. I sprayed that one just right down the ten pin. Shaved it. A little light. A little bit. Yeah. Pretty easy oh. hit pin hit leaves a cluster of five on the left. Oh. Timmy starts with a strike. Brittany oh, takes out the diamond, leaving the seven pin. Good though. Look good. <laughs> and she starts with a nine. Oh, oh, 
pocket, leaves the six pin. Timmy goes for the double. He wow. chops out the two pin. Come on, load it up. He's got another ball in. And Brittany goes wide of the six pin, so this is her spin. So he takes up, six on his fill. Get three out of four of this. Ooh. All right, same first ball. Nine for Brittany. Hell of an out, kid. Hell of an out. Eight for Tim. So well, eight, Tim's at 24. Brittany's at 18. Light on the head pin and he Gotta leaves that mess. Jesus Christ. Good ride, buddy. This will be a pure spare if he makes it. No wood to help. No. He goes in the hole. Try clean him up. Get 10. Get 10. Oh, he yanks that left. It wasn't there, bro. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so Brittany just misses her 10. Tim misses his object in twice in a row. With a 31 for three for Tim. 27 for three for Brittany. Still down 16 in this string. Tim's up a couple. They're still falling. Timmy chops out the 1 5. So Brittany hit the six pin. Come on, side to side. Pretty full. Nine to ten. And she ends up with the one, three, ten. Plays it outside. A little light. Come on! Continue. Grab a couple. Going for count here. There you go. Time for Brittany. I just want to skip love. We're both doing it. Right. 39 through 4. Timmy's opposite a spare in the fifth box. Brittany's at 37 through 4. She's down 16. Opposite a 9 box. He's light on the head pin and he, he kept falling. He's got an interesting he the five pin over, so it's not on its spot, but the way he throws the ball. Pins explode. On. He couldn't get the ten to go. Brittany gets her ten, so she's at forty seven. And uh, wow. Timmy got that to go. Wow. So Matt's cut into Brittany's lead of the match, uh, cut it in half from 30 to 15 with his first half, 62. And Glenn chops out the four pin, that's one on a fill. Glenn and Tim are tied for the first half. Glenn went right left again. Nine for Glenn. Seven for Matt. Good head pin hit there, but he leaves the four, five, seven with some wood and buries that and leaves the six pin. Glenn fits it through the hole. That uses went far enough left on that wood to trip the 
six pin. Oh, yeah, one. Glenn catches the cap and he makes a nice 10. Glenn's at 68 through seven. Matt's at 79 in the ball. And he's keeping the pressure up on Brittany in this street. Glenn's a little full in the head pin. Leaves a three and one split. And some wood that would no, eight. Oh, for wood. Eight. <laughs> eight fill for Matt. Left it out to the right. Oh! Matt gets the sidewall action. He hit that light outside on the head pin. It came back for him. Glenn finishes with a nine. Glenn's at 77. Matt's at 97 through a ball. He's got four marks this way. Last hit here for a couple marks. Matt. Doesn't work on the other side. He misses it right. He picks up four. So he's at 101 through eight. Glenn's light on the head pin. He has a three pin cluster for his 10. Matt has the head pin for his 10. Punches the object through eight blocks for him for 85 through nine. Matt's at 110 through nine after the nine box. What a hit for Matt. He leaves the 136. Glenn has the full horseman right. This is the head pin. As did Matt. Both of them pretty close to, to making those shots. And Glenn finishes with a 10 for a 95 string. Matt finishes with a 10 for his 120. That's a 305 through <coughs> three strings. Glenn Gill is at 324 through three strings. He oh, yeah. begins his second half with uh, <laughs> this is the head pin. He gets uh, the leaves the 110 with plenty of wood. Pretty through. Ball and this is a head pin. He's got this for a spear. And she made it. Ten for Tim, he's a 59. So he does not need a mark to win this race. Pin gets a splash oh, nine drop, leaving yeah. a six. Wow. To be a little full of the head pin, leaves a seven pin. Oh, man. Need too much cap there. Ten for Timmy. He's at 69 through seven. Gets at 76 through seven. Brittany needs 44 pins and three boxes to tie that. Timmy just needs to stay away from bad boxes and go in the straight. Timmy four on the head pin. He's got that for his ten. 
Brittany misses a hit too, so she's going to get that for her too. Nine for Tim. Ten for Brittany. Tim is at 78. He's leading into treated boxes by one, and he's opposite 18 pins in the last two boxes. Timmy misses the head pin, but pins keep spinning for him. And leaves the one nine. Brittany's got the four horsemen left. Timmy gets the spear. All right, so Brittany's going to need a trick. Uh, yeah, needs a triple strike, double strike, with a decent field to win the string. Pretty well. Brittany says five tens and a spare in the last six boxes. Simi punches through with three fill. And Matt Taylor is going to win string number three. That Timmy wins string number three. We'll get you the scores in a moment. All right, eight bucks for each bowler. Brittany finishes with a 104. Timmy finishes with a 99. So. Mad. I missed it, but it's a strike. Runs a little heavy on the head pin, leaves a 3 1 split. Timmy's at 320 through three strings, Glenn's at 324. So we got a good match going here. The A flight. I do that. Can't even Brittany's at 319, Matt's at 305. Brittany's up four points to two. And. Timmy and Glenn are tied at three points each. Each bowler has won a string and one string was tied. Glenn has a four point lead in the match. Matt gets spare on strike. That was a tough spear. Glenn starts off with a second seven. This is 14 through two. Matt again is off to a good start in this thing. Outside. That's a good bid there. Now to settle for a nine. Glenn also goes for pins and he's shows a nine box. Twenty-three for Glenn. Forty-one for Matt through three.
nine blocks from that. Eight blocks for Glenn. 31 through 4. Matt's at 50 through 4. Glenn sits down on a strike. Matt almost converted that for a nine pin spare, but he leaves the five nine. If the wood stays there, it shouldn't bother him. He went wide. So 58 from Matt Taylor through five boxes in the fourth string. 41 plus two balls for Glenn Gill. on the head pin, four drop. It was a very nice one. Timmy had a pretty, looked like a good head pin hit, but he leaves the uh, six, seven, plenty of wood. So oh, got a seven pin though. Very full of the, of the object. <clears throat> Needed to catch a little bit of the wood. And Brittany begins her string with a nine. Timmy picks up his 10. Carries oh. it. Leaves the 10. About this wood, it's angled a little bit away from the 10 pin. It's timber lanes, and wood behaves funny sometimes. We'll see what happens. Yep. Oops, sorry, uh, she needed to go left, turn the wood into the pin. Timmy's off the object pin. Brittany uh, settles for a nine box. And Timmy will take an eight. Eight drop, make it a nine. A little bit of a roadblock right now. So let's see what happens. It's a weird angle. Ball can come off the wall and catch the eight. Nope. Another roadblock for her. And Timmy picks up his spear. Brittany picks up her 10. Light on the head pin, he gets nine to go. Woods. Not terrible. But he's got the four horsemen right with the eight. Takes the eight. Yeah, I needed to go right at the pin. And then Brittany will take a nine. He's at 37 through four. Tim has a nine. He's at uh, 46 through four. Brittany's got 13 in the string. And she's up two in the match. She's tightening up. This match is pretty tight as well. Oh my God. Well, somebody's chopping today. It's a uh, spread eagle plus a extra. It's going for 
out here. Oh, what a shot! That's a quarter hit conversion of the spread eagle plus the nine pin. Brittany finishes with a nine. 46. So she's down 12 in the match. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's up 12 in the string. She's down 12 in the string. And she is up two in the match. Glenn Gill back on the hand pin leaves a triangle left. Matt Taylor light hand pin hit leaves the three ten. Good wood. Good shot by Glenn. Spare on strike. Matt makes his spare. Let me recap the A match. Timmy's up five pins in the string plus a ball. Down four pins in the back, so that's a tight match. That misses the object on his spare attempt. Two tight matches here, folks. Seven for Glenn, 74 through seven. Nine for Matt. 82 to 7. Great ball by Glenn. He leaves the 8 pin. And Woods, not optimal. That's Phil. He's been throwing a better ball this spring than the last, obviously. Leaves the diamond right. Left, right. Glenn saw something I did not. He's taller than me. Converts his spear. And that settles for a nine. He's at 91 through eight. Glenn's at 84 and a ball through eight. Nine drop for Glenn. Great fill. Eight drop for Matt. Got two pins on the left of the plank. And Glenn wasn't going to miss that one. He's determined at this point. Matt's going to make it. Oh! With double wood. It hurt him. That's a seven pin for the ten. He makes it. All right, so he's at 101 from nine. Brittany's going to have to come up with a pretty big second half to salvage this string. Glenn let that one go. He wants that one back. That's a two fill. Matt Yank on the left, and he took out the four pin. Oh! Heavy on the head pin that splashed off and he left the four. And we'll give him a nine box. So he finishes with a 114. And that finishes with a seven for a 108. So Matt's at 413 through four. Brittany's at 46 and 5 in the string. She's going to need a 52 half, 62, 62 half to tie. So Timmy misses the head pin and he gets a 9 drop. Of course. A lot of action on this ball. And he makes the snare. Maybe a little full of that for her spare attempt. Let's get this for her 10. Eight 
54. Brittany's down 19 in the string. Seven through six. When he has the horseman right. So he punches the head pin. Couldn't get the extra pin. Couldn't get the push to the ten pin. Timmy goes in the hole. Timmy's at eighty-two through seven. He's gonna need a mark to catch Glenn. He needs 44 pins and three boxes to catch Matt this way. Good effort by Timmy, leaves the seven pin. Great effort by Brittany. It's a nine pin spare. Brittany will get ten there. Brittany will take ten there. And she salutes the pins. Skip lobs, heavy hit, four drop. The head pin got four. Brittany leaves the head pin. She's got a workable set now. Shot here. She needs this. Timmy almost pulled off another one. Nine bucks for Tim, 101. Nine bucks for Britt, 83. Brittany needs a double strike in the 10th catch now. Timmy needs a mark. Timmy's chasing a 114. He's at 101. One box to go. And a little heavy on the head pin. Ugly split. So that's going to win string number four. Glenn's going to win string number four. So that and Brittany are dead even at four points each. Get you a total for the moment. I think Matt's going to have a slight lead. Ten for Brittany, 93 string. Timmy finishes with a 109. And Matt Taylor's up 413 to 412 going into the last string. Two four strings. He's taking control of the match. I mean, it's a nine pin lead. I wouldn't call it control, but he's up. He's won five points. To Timmy's three. Matt plays the bank shot for his ten. And Glenn leaves something that you just. I'm glad you're pressing the button. Six bucks. So Matt, again, that's a that's a quarter hit, and you gotta be happy with that. That shot was virtually unmissable. Glenn 
leaves the eight pin. Excuse me. Makes a ten. Sixteen through two. That's a twenty in a ball. Disappointing one fill from that. Box for each bowler, 24 through 3 from Glenn Gill, 29 through 3 from Matt Taylor. Matt buries that ball, leaves the 5 8. That was a great ball there. Matt Glenn's light on the hip and he gets a decent leave there. Three in a row on the right side. Not let that ball get away from the motor spear. Let it had to cover the, the object pin there. It wouldn't even help him any. And Matt takes his 10. He wants that one back. Nine for Glenn. He's at 33. By Glenn, he leaves a triangle left. That is a 189. Off the And Glenn chops through the middle of this the triangle. He's frustrated. And Matt finishes with an 8 for 47 half. Glenn finishes with a 9 for 42 half. Underwood, light on the head pin, seven drop. Tough shot here. Both the diamond minus the uh, six pin, four pin. Sorry. Just, Just misses the object pin. All right, Timmy uses the wood nicely there and gets the spare in the first box. And brings in a nine. Timmy's done nine pins going into the string for total. And uh, Brittany's down one. And another full hit pin hit gets a splash. Nine drop. Timmy's off the hit pin today. He's a. Uh, when he's on it, he's, he's chopping a lot. When he's off it, he's getting decent action. Spare for Brittany. Six fill for Timmy. Heavy on the head, Timmy leaves the three pin. And Timmy again takes his 10. So Timmy's at 26 through two. Brittany's at 19 plus through two. Quarter hit for Britt and takes five. Five on her fill. That looked like a good ball for Timmy. He leaves the five, seven, eight, nine. No wood. Brittany goes by her object pin. Yeah. 
and he hit the left side of the five pin. I think he needed to go right to have a chance. Seven bucks for Brittany. Nine bucks for, for Timmy. He's a 35. So Timmy's taking over the lead in the match. He's up 11 in the string. Three completed boxes. Brittany's up two in the, mat, uh, in the string. So she's taking over the lead as well. And it's close. Great first ball by Tim. He leaves the 6'10 to Wood. Brittany's trying to cut it over, and she does. Huge spare for Brittany Underwood. Timmy makes his. So the home bowlers are beginning to take control of the match. Pretty very hit pin and uh, eight drop. Timmy's off the hit pin. He'll take a seven drop with that. Unmakeable spare. Again, Brittany has some wood that's questionable. What a shot. She had to play that right of the red line, turn it into the five pin. Timmy makes his spare. So he Timmy's it. 62 in a ball through five. Brittany's at 59 in a ball through, through uh, five. So, the home bowl has come rolling back. Glenn leaves the full horseman right. That chops out the three in the middle there. That's I, I see that fairly off and not too often. Once in a while, I can never figure it out. How does that happen? Nine for Glenn. He's at 51. Six for Matt. He's at 53, and that's going to get it back in here. That's the plan. Half was to right for Glenn. Half off the head pin, he gets a better drop there. He's at least six, but they're in a cluster for him. Right. Glenn's running out of boxes, he needs marks. That is too. Nine marks for Matt. Cleanse at 59 through 7. Matt's at 62 through 7. Quick first ball by Glenn he for 5 9. Matt's heavy on the head pin and he gets one extra pin to fall, but. Got a two and one split. Glenn misses the five pin to the left. Oh, what a bid by Matt. Good effort. Leaves the seven pin. Ten for Matt, nine for Glenn.
So, both bowlers, I would say, need a double strike anyway to make it interesting. Great ball by Glenn. That's the four pin. Heavy on the head pin from Matt. He got a splash nine drop. Glenn finishes his regulation with a spare. Got another ball. Matt misses his uh, spare lead. He's going to finish with another 80 something, string 85 or 86. And it'll be an 86 for Matt Taylor. Matt Taylor finishes with a 4.99 total, with the virtue of that 86 string. Glenn Gill finishes with a 5.32 total. Um, Tim needs a 104 to win the win the match, the string and the match. Five fill for Brittany. Six fill for Timmy. And Timmy converts his pair. Brittany makes hers. All right. So Brittany right. only needs a eighty-seven string to tie for total. She's already at seventy-eight in the ball. Six points string for Brittany. She's going to take ten points. That Taylor is leaving with four points. Good effort. Ball almost took the last pin. I know. All right, nine bucks for Brittany. She's at 87, so she's tied with Matt with three boxes to go for the match. Let's see what Timmy's at. Timmy's in good shape. Yeah. Alright, so Timmy's going to take nine points in the match by virtue of four points for total. Four points for total, excuse me. Four points for winning two strings and one point for tying. Glenn Gill to take five points. So just bowling out the string here. We'll give you the totals when they're done. by Tim. Seven, she's at one twelve through nine. Oh, good bit. And she finishes with a ten for one twenty two. She's at five thirty two. She beats Matt Taylor 532 to 499. Tim Douglas with a 118 string. 
Bowls are 547 to, to Glenn Gill's 532. Timmy takes 9 points, Glenn takes 5. Brittany wins 10 points, Matt takes 4. Thanks for watching, folks. From Webster Timberlands, I'm Paul Newman. Have a good day.